Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new segment for my channel Retro Gaming Thursdays and if you've been following me on my Facebook page this is the first game I'm going to be getting into Lemmings for the Microsoft MS-DOS I don't know what it's called these days but uh, you cannot play it on the modern systems you have to rely on DOSBox to run games like this now Lemmings is a strategy game and as such uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of thinking in this uh, retro gaming um, world um, what we're gonna be going through uh, how I'm gonna be handling this ladies and gentlemen is I'm not gonna be going through all the um, I don't know what I'll call it, episodes. I won't be going through all the episodes in this game. Like, you see, uh, on Lemmings, there's fun, tricky, taxing, and mayhem. Now, I'm not going to be going through all these because each of these levels have 30 levels each. And uh, I'm not going to be uh, sitting here and recording, um, you know, all the episodes of uh, Lemmings. So, what I'm going to be doing is that for this segment, I'll be recording through only fun. And then uh, I'll be going to the next game in Retro Gaming Thursdays. And then I'll hop back into Lemmings and go for Tricky, then Taxing, then Mayhem. And it's going to take a while, but, you know, I think I can do it. I mean, I've played this game when I was, like, three to four years old. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but with that said, let's go on ahead and get started on Lemmings. Uh, don't mind the graphical uh, hiccup here. Um... But uh, if you can find a version that doesn't do this, or if you can find an emulator that doesn't do this, I don't know. Um, but it, it just tells you how much um, how much lemmings you have, and uh, how much that needs to be saved, and you know how much time you have, and all that jazz. So right now it just says just dig. This is level one, and so when we get into the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, you notice that at the bottom of the screen we have. Um, these icons here. We only have dig at the moment, so let's go ahead and select a dig and give them to our lemmings. These lemmings, you're going to be helping these uh, guys get to their exits. They're pretty dumb without their masters. So you got you got to give them commands. You got to give them commands uh, for them to survive. Now we'll be moving into um, other um, options here, like um, going from right to left. We have climber. Floater, Bomb, Bomber, Blocker, Builder, Basher, Miner, and Digger. That's pretty much it. Then, of course, we got the pause and we got the nuke. We won't be using the nuke often, you know, unless I need to, which will be in level 3. But level 1 is not that bad, so now we move on to level 2. Now, on Microsoft, uh, you have to collect these passwords. Uh, to get to, so, like, if, if you have to go somewhere and you have to close out of the game and close down your computer or whatever, you have to uh, collect these codes unless to pick up where you left off, which is ideally a stupid thing, but, you know, I, I've, I've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it, so, you know. Only floors can survive this. They say that for a reason, because if... If a lemming falls down from a certain height, uh, very high enough, then um, they will fall to their death. They're, they'll crush. They'll be gone. But you can rely on floaters to, you know, have them float down to safety, and it's, it won't be that bad. It won't be that bad. So. If, memory serves, I think Lemmings came out on the Amiga system first, and then Microsoft, and then, um, and there's so many ports to this game, like, this game was so popular to gain other ports of this game, like, for the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, the Game Boy Pocket, um, there's even been a remake for uh, for this game uh, on the PlayStation Portable that released in 2006 alongside with, um, you know, the PlayStation 3 version, which, uh, honestly, I... <sighs> Look, I'm not going to say that Lemmings on the PlayStation 3 was a bad game. I just don't think it was the Lemmings that I grew up playing. Like, I grew up playing Lemmings like this, so I've got a kick when I, 
you know, played Lemmings on the go on the PlayStation Portal because it had all the levels from the Microsoft. It had all the levels from this version uh, compared to the, um, you know, the PlayStation 3 version, which, you know, you know, playing Lemmings on the go, hey, that's not too bad. I like the idea of playing Lemmings on the go, just like I like the idea of playing Doom on the go. I don't, I'm just that kind of guy. So as you can see, we are using blockers. Um, of course, uh, to get rid of them, you have to use bombers. Um, but we don't have bombers uh, with us. Or, you know, we don't have bombers in our inventory here. So we only have to rely on either our time running out, or we use the nuke button, which we're going to be using right now, actually. But be careful, because whatever lemmings are left on the field, they're going to be... They're, they're gonna be counting down to their deaths too, so you gotta be careful on that. I usually use this when I don't have bombers, pretty much. So, let's move on to level 4. Now use miners and climbers. Miners are useful because, you know, they dig diagonally. Um, they, they dig in the slope so that the lemmings, you know... I don't know how to really describe it. You really got to use your mind on which, on what to use on this game. And that's what I really like about this game. This game just has it all. And what about that nostalgic music, huh? <laughs> MIDI format at its finest. Uh, you know... But, you know, when I was, uh, I first picked up this game when I saw my, um, oh, mainly my mother playing it. My mother loved playing this game. She loved Lemmings. My dad got into it, but he wasn't as much of a hardcore Lemmings fan like my mom was. And, uh, you know, I started picking up Lemmings, and I started playing it, and it was fun. It was a fun time to be had. It was a fun time to be had. You need bashers this time. Alrighty. So bashers, they um, they actually uh, pummel their way through walls, kind of like so. There's one thing I can really say about this game, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, the level design itself. I mean, for, for a Microsoft DOS game, it, the level design is just magnificent. Of course, you know, that could be the nostalgic side of me talking, but, you know. Alrighty, we're getting close to the exit here. Ooh, excuse me, I just woke up not too long ago, so, uh, you'll have to forgive me if I'm yawning. Gotta bash your way through these, uh, crevices, nets, whatever they're fucking called, I don't know. But it's not a bad level. I mean, look, fun consists of it, it, fun is basically your tutorial. Okay, you're gonna ha you're gonna go through these levels that you know give you the basic idea of what you know what you have in your inventory and what you can use them for. And of course, in later levels, you're gonna have a certain amount of builders, bashers, blockers, whatever in your inventory, and you have to use them you know, sparingly, and you have to use them at the right moment and the right time, and it's, it gets tricky, it gets tricky, I'm not gonna lie, but fun is a tutorial, um, type episode, and, um, I'm gonna be, um, breaking rules a little bit here, because we're supposed to be using blockers and bombers, but, uh, I'm just gonna be using bombers, because I played this level way too much. There's a level in Tricky that requires you to only use bombers, and you only have two bombers, so you have to place the, uh, you have to use the, you have to place the bomber at the right time, like so, and that's how you beat that. So just use a bomber anywhere on this field, then use a bomber right here, and the bomber is guaranteed to blow up right here to create um, an entry. So it's not that bad. You know, I played this game a lot when I was a child. I played, you know, there hasn't, you know, I, I haven't really picked up and played this game in a very long time, but, you know, picking it up to play it again, 
it, it's it's astonishing how you remember so much in a video game when you haven't really picked it up and played it for a long time. This is what I get from this game. You know, I can pick up this game, no problem. I can record this game, no problem. I know what to do. And now we get into builders here. And this is my favorite soundtrack right here. This is just a really um, magnificent soundtrack that plays here. So we'll be using builders here. And you know, like I said, you know, the level design of each level. It's it's magnificent. I love it. It's it's a great level design. Oy. You could use uh, multiple builders just so you don't risk. Oh, well, then I guess that lemming's moving back, huh? Mm. Well, not a big issue. Now, in other versions of this game that release on Windows, uh, there is a Windows 95 version of this game, but here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not bashing it because, you know. Um, you know, it, it's 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 the game that it's the only game that I thought that we could get a hold of and play. But of course, that's not the case. Thanks to the DOSBox emulator, you can emulate these nice nostalgic throwbacks. So it's great. It's it's a fun time to be had. But the there is a Windows 95 version of Lemmings, and I just don't think it can. You know, I, I just don't think it, it compares to what you know this version of Lemmings does. I mean, it's a. I think this version is superior to the other versions, and I'm just saying that because you know, even on the PlayStation Portable, even though there is a remake of this game for the PlayStation Portable, the music. Oh my God! What did they do? They only kept one of the nostalgic music from this game. Onto the um, onto the PlayStation Portable, and the rest is just bland. Like every time I have to play Lemmings game, like, I'm not kidding. Every time I have to play Lemmings on PlayStation Portable, I actually have all the songs that's represented in this game onto my MP3. So I pl plug in the earbuds into my ears, and I you know whenever I load up Lemmings on the P PlayStation Portable, I um. I have to have my MP3 that has the Lemmings, the original Lemmings music, um, to play while I'm playing Lemmings. And how complicated is this level, huh? <laughs> so yeah, um, as of what game I'll be covering, um, for next time in Retro Gaming Thursdays, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I'll figure it out when I go along. I'll figure it out when I go along. No, it's 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 not going to be that hard. It's not going to be that difficult to figure out, as long as you try your best. Now we get to the interesting parts of the levels um, where you have to start thinking outside the box. Like right here? Oh, it's obvious I have to use Basher, but then you have to go over to Blocker because this is a hazard. There will be many levels that introduces hazards that can get rid of your lemmings. And you have to be careful because these matchsticks right here are a hazard. We'll be running into levels that, you know, flamethrowers, they're a hazard. Fucking uh, fireplaces, they're a hazard. Bondless pits, they're a hazard. There are many hazards that will get rid of your lemmings and your percentage, and you don't want that to happen. Because there will be one level, you know, there will be some levels in particular that requires you to save all the lemmings, and that's, uh... <laughs> anyway, smile if you love lemmings. I love lemmings. I love it. It's it's a good game. I love it. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be using Builder on this one. Alrighty, so then we're going to be increasing our, uh... Actually, I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm just going to use a blocker because 
most of the time, you know, when I bash, I'm hoping to bash this way, but sometimes the lemmings will bash this way, and I have to rely on a, a, a lemming that's a blocker right here, so I mean, it's whatever. Or, you know, I can just keep digging right here. Not a big deal, honestly. This will be another level that will show up in Tricky. Um, that requires you to think outside the box. And, um... It's difficult. But we'll, we won't be running into that until very later in this, uh... Game. Like I said, I'll only be uh, covering fun. So, I mean, there's that. 